What's up YouTube? Austin coming at you with Vaporleaf.com. Today we're going to be talking about the Mini Vault from Council of Vapor. This thing is tiny. And here's an 18650 battery. Here's the Mini Vault. Really, really small. Decent amount of power though, so let's uh, go ahead and jump down in and see what we're talking about. All right, here we are down in close with the Mini Volt by Council of Vapor. Um, it's actually a pretty cool, decent box. I'm not huge on boxes, but it's a pretty decent box that it comes with. Uh, remarkably large for such a small device, I will say that. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and open that up. Uh, now with the device, let me just pull this out because it's going to make it easier for me. Um, you just flip this top out and you do get your charge cable right here and then you get the device. So let's go ahead and pull that out. We'll move this to the side. So here's the mini volt and like I was saying earlier, this thing is tiny, tiny. Um, once again, 18650 next to it. It is just about as wide as an 18650, uh, shorter than an 18650, and, well, a little bit thinner than two 18650s. All right, uh, <clears throat> looking at the device real quick here, starting from the bottom, you do have your charge port on the bottom. Uh, nothing really much other than some, uh, I guess, serrations on the back here. Uh, it has a nice little carbon fiber wrap on it, which kind of stretches around to the sides and covers the front here, uh, which has your fire button and your up and down buttons. And then on the top, we have the 510 and then the screen. So let's go ahead and turn it on. It's going to be five clicks, one, two, three, four, five. COV, Council of Vapor, and then you have the device right there. So obviously hitting the fire button will fire it. There's no atomizer or connected to it, so obviously it's not going to connect to anything there. Um, and right now I can, uh, one of the cool safety features about it is I can hit the up or down button as much as I want. I can hold them and just click the, uh, the crap out of them. It's not going to do anything. Uh, to actually adjust the wattage, what you have to do is hit the fire button and the up button simultaneously. So we hit the fire button and the up button and that wattage starts flashing and then I'm able to adjust the wattage either up or down from there. And then just click the fire button to get into whatever you want, uh, or to lock it in, I should say. And then if you press and hold the down button and the fire button simultaneously. Oops. That's going to make the power uh, start uh, flashing at you and you just, oh, it got out of it by itself. Let me go ahead and get back in there. And then you can uh, get into the different modes. So they have uh, the power, um, standard, and soft. So that's basically how quickly it's going to ramp up for you. Soft is going to have a nice kind of easy ramp up. Um, power is going to be the hardest and then standard is going to be kind of like the in the middle. So I've just been leaving it on the power. Um, come on, focus there baby. There you are. Maybe that's a better uh, look for you anyways there. So just to walk through that one more time here since I uh, have it fairly focused um, and it's up closer so hit the fire button and the plus button simultaneously and you're able to adjust the wattage if you just let it set it will lock in I just click the fire button that locks it in and then if you hit the down button and the fire button simultaneously you can do standard soft or power all right uh, and then just you know one two three four five to turn it back off <clears throat> So that's the mini volt, guys. Let's go ahead and jump back up and we'll finish this guy up. All right, guys, so that was the mini volt from Council of Vapor. Uh, it just technical specs are real quick here. It's going to have a 1300 milliamp hour battery built into it. It's going to be able to achieve 40 watts. That's going to be the maximum wattage you can achieve on it. And you do have to charge it through the bottom because it does have that built in battery, which is 1300 milliamp hour. Um, other than the size of it, which I'm not much for small devices. I understand why they came out with it because there are a lot of people that do really like those small devices. I more like something like this, which you can see it trumped or just freaking shadows this thing. Uh, so it is very, very small. If I'm not mistaken, it is actually the smallest regulated device on the market. Could be mistaken about that, and obviously, I'm sure somebody will come out with something smaller. But this is the first one that I've used that 
kind of makes sense to a degree. Uh, 1300 milliamp hours, uh, especially if you're going to be running over 20 watts, isn't going to last you very long. We're looking maybe an hour or two of, uh, of life off of it. It's going to die pretty quickly there. But if you're looking for something to go out on the town on uh, with, you know, keep it nice and pocketable. I mean, I, you know, I don't have the biggest hands in the world, but you can see I can conceal that fairly easily. Uh, and, you know, just it's hitting the town. You're not going to be vaping a whole lot, uh, but, you, you know, you're going to want a couple puffs here and there. This could be a perfect device for you. I like the screen on top. I'm not sure how good it's going to be as far as if a tank leaks, how uh, waterproof uh, or watertight um, this whole top connection is going to be. But eh, you got to, you know got to take your losses where you can. Like I said, I like the water, uh, like the screen there. You can just hit it. You know, I don't, I don't want to be, you know, holding this with my fingertips looking at a screen. It's kind of nice to just be able to hold it in my hand like this and still be able to see the screen. Um, so I have this set at uh, 35 watts right now, use, or 35.8, um, using a half ohm coil for an iSub tank. I'll back up here and you can go ahead and see the performance that you're going to get off of it. Produces like a big one. So yeah, it's a great little device. I would say really the big downside is going to be the battery life on it, which at this point you can't really get away from, um, especially if you want a device this small. Uh, packing 1300 milliamp hours worth of battery life into a device this small is pretty impressive, honestly. Uh, so yeah, I mean, you're going to have to make the decision for yourself, but it's a good device for the people who are looking for a device that's this small. Alright guys, thank you. That was the uh, mini vault uh, from Council of Vapor. If you like the videos, make sure to hit that like button. And as always, make sure to hit that subscribe button for the latest and greatest videos. You guys have a great day. Bye now.